I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here and today I'll be showing you how to completely remove all of the Facebook and Meta apps from your smartphone. This does not require root access since we'll be using a simple AADB command and it will uninstall them from your default user account on the device. You can follow this tutorial whether you have the base model of the Galaxy S23, like myself, the larger Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The steps will be exactly the same for all devices in this series. So when you first activate your smartphone, you'll notice that you have a number of apps pre-installed from Facebook, Microsoft, and Google. Many of these can be deleted directly from the app drawer. You just need to long press the application icon and then tap on the uninstall button that appears. I have previously done that for the Facebook application and that's why it is no longer listed in the app drawer. However, many people are not aware that Facebook has multiple applications pre-installed on their Galaxy S23 series smartphone. They're just hidden and they're labeled Meta now because of the name change. We can see them by opening up the settings application, scrolling down a little bit and then selecting the apps option. Now we're going to tap on this sort button right here and then enable the show system apps toggle. Now from here, if we look for Facebook, you'll see that nothing is there. And that is mainly because of the name change. However, if we search for the word meta, you should see at least three apps here. One is an actual system app. The other three are pre-installed from Facebook. Now, now if you wanted, you could simply choose to disable these three meta apps right from the settings of the device. To do that, we just tap on one of them, look for the disable button at the bottom, tap it, and then confirm that you do want to disable that app. Now when we go back here, again make sure the show system apps toggle is enabled and search for the word meta. You should see that that one is now disabled. And we can do that for the other two apps as well. Doing this for all three of these apps will prevent them from launching in the background collecting data, and using up your CPU resources. If you want to stop here, you can do that, and you'll know that they are not running in the background right now. The only downside to simply disabling these apps here is that when you install a new over-the-air update, if there is a change to one of these apps, then it will be enabled again. To truly prevent these apps from running in the background and prevent them from being reinstalled from over the air updates, we need to uninstall them with ADB. So if you haven't installed ADB and Fastboot tools on your desktop or laptop PC yet, then do so now and you'll be able to continue with this tutorial. If you're not aware of how this can be installed, then check the video description below and I'll have a link to a previous guide that I have done that will walk you through all of the steps involved. You're also going to need to enable USB debugging mode or wireless debugging if you don't have a USB cable laying around or if you just want to finish this tutorial wirelessly. And again, I'll have links to previous videos that I have done that show you how to enable these two developer mode features 
down below. When all of that is set up, let's connect our phone to the PC with a USB cable or pair our devices wirelessly and then make sure that we have a successful ADB connection. We can check this connection by typing out the command ADB space devices and pressing enter and making sure that we see our phone's serial number here next to the word device. If you're seeing text that tells you the device is unauthorized, then you'll need to grant USB debugging mode access on your Galaxy S23. And unless you have blocked this access in the past, you should see that prompt appear on your smartphone after you have executed that ADB devices command. Once we have that connection properly, we can now begin to execute the three commands that we'll need to uninstall those meta apps from our default user account. This is done by first dropping into an ADB shell by typing out the command ADB space shell and pressing enter. You should see this bring you to another command prompt with a blinking cursor that looks just a little bit different than what we saw before, since this is the code name for our device. Once we are in that ADB shell, we can now begin removing those three meta apps by typing out pm space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space and then the package name for one of those apps. So we're going to be removing the com.facebook.services app in this command. So let's go ahead and press enter on the keyboard and you should see a success message right there. If you see something else like an error or something, then that likely means you didn't type something out correctly. Maybe you didn't drop into that ADB shell. So just go ahead and check those commands. The second command we're going to be doing is the same PM uninstall dash K dash dash user zero. We're just going to be using a different package name for the second app, which is com.facebook.system. With that all typed out, again, we're going to press enter on the keyboard and we're going to look for a success message again. The third and final command that we need to type out again starts with PM space uninstall space dash K space dash dash user space zero. And this last package name is com.facebook.appmanager. Again, with that typed out, we press enter on the keyboard and we make sure that we have a third success message right here. Now that these apps have been removed via ADB, they will no longer appear in the apps section of the settings application. They will not be able to launch in the background and they should not be reactivated via an over the air update. Again, you can go back into the apps section of the settings application, search for the word meta and make sure you don't see anything listed here. This will help keep your user data private and will prevent these apps from chewing through your battery life. If you have any questions about this process, such as you running into an error or some other type of issue, then please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to reply as quickly as I can and hope to be able to help you figure out the issue.